YouTube, what it do, man? Y'all already know who I am, man, man, Ground Hard, checking in again with another video. Got a story time for y'all, boys. I ain't gonna drop one of these in a minute. I'ma call this new series right here, Smoke Break with Ground Hard, you feel me? Check this out. If you haven't, make sure you hit the follow button, subscribe, all that good shit, you know what I mean? Make sure you do all that, take care of all that good shit. You see the title, I know that's why you here. But before I get to that, I gotta give y'all a little bit of backstory leading up to that, right? Let's go back to last year, August. Around the time we found out that my grandfather had stage four cancer. My grandfather is a very spiritual man. Sunday morning, you know where the hell he gonna be at, bro. Church on my mama. You ain't making him late. He gonna be at church. Point blank period. Growing up, I didn't live in Louisiana growing up. So I didn't go to church with my grandfather. But I visited his church maybe once or twice, you know, coming up. Once I decided I was done with college at the time, I, uh, I moved to Louisiana or whatnot. Once I moved to Louisiana, started YouTube, all that shit, moved to Houston. Still never went to my grandfather's church. Fast forward, we found out my grandfather had cancer now. This whole time leading up to August, my mama been telling me, man, it's a dude in the NFL, you know, go to the church, blah, 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 and telling me the man name. Never really paid attention. I'm gonna just keep it all the way playing with y'all, right? You know, I hit the blunt and, and lost track. Hold on. Different angle. <laughs> After high school, considering I wasn't really focused on football in high school, out of high school, I decided, I ain't give a damn about no football. I know everything it is to know about football. I know about contracts. I know when it's real time. I know about all that shit. But I don't keep up with players and, you know, who popping or what's going on in the NFL. But I know talent, nigga. I know a motherfucker. Hey, I know that motherfucker when I see it. Fast forward, August, you know, my mama telling me now. That at this time, my mom, she started going to my grandpa's church or whatnot. And, um... You know, she's she sending me pictures or whatnot of the player or whatnot. I'm looking, cool, whatever. Never looked at how this nigga performed, none of this shit. Never, because I, I, I wouldn't, and he's younger than me, so I, I really ain't in the loop with nothing college or NFL related. So, boom. Mama sent me pictures, I ain't paying attention. Fast forward, I'm on my sports bed and shit. I'm on some, yeah, my nigga Lamar got this shit this year. I'm my mama, man, I don't give a fuck what no nigga say. Baltimore Ravens winning that shit. Shout out my nigga Odell, you know. Oh, they're gonna get him another. He gonna turn up in the playoff. This gonna, yeah, this gonna, this gonna be another. This gonna be one of them years. Up until they played the Kansas City motherfucking Chiefs. You feel me? Let's go back. Now we all know the play when Fly was broke loose. Then he got the fucking flag call when he did some hoe ass shit to the dude landing on the field. But when I was looking at the game, now I'm watching it live because I got money on this shit. When I'm looking at the game, I'm like, wait a minute, bro. Uh, dude just did some. Why he get a flag? Cause. He really fly with your dismal ass shit to buddy on the ground. Cool. Still never paid a sense of nigga name. Up until Fly was getting ready to run in the end zone, you get a motherfucking athlete, a motherfucking dog, a motherfucking a nigga that's, nigga, I ain't losing this bitch. You got me fucked up, bitch. Yeah, get back. Huh. Fumble. What the fuck? That nigga just lost my goddamn money. Who the fuck? Who is this nigga? I look. Sneed. 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 Ain't no fucking way. So I go to the pictures and shit. This nigga play for Kansas. Mama. This nigga play for Kansas City. I been telling you, yes. He been going to the church since he was a kid. His family, blah, blah, blah. What the fuck? So cool. All right. Now, let me go back. November the 17th, my grandfather passed the council. My mama been asking me over and over and over and over and over again to come to church with her. I don't know. I just hadn't, I just hadn't been feeling it, dog. I, I just hadn't. I, ain't, I hadn't been feeling it, right? Playoffs happen. Sneed lose my money. Mama still asked me to come to church. No, 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 no. Super Bowl happened. I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm putting money on the fucking cheese, you feel me? Like, Sneed lost my money, he got, he got my get back. That nigga climbed every receiver he was on, you feel me? I was taking straight unders, live bets. Shit, I even, I, my mama sent me $20 to play for her, nigga. I turned that bitch into 200 quick on some live bed and shit. Yeah, nigga, we ran up money, money on the Super Bowl, I'm God. Mama still asked me, go to church with me, go to church with me. Nah. So finally, I decide I'm going to go. Hit her, she leave me. Damn. Because most Sundays roll around, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go. Just, you know, don't leave me. Pick, make sure when you leave, I'm in the truck with you. Where the church is, man, the church is like it's not in the city we live in right now stay in Bulge city shreveport area i say this it's in between shreveport and grambling you know two familiar areas right middle of nowhere basically you know no no what i'm gonna just say that bitch in jones bro shout out little snoop it's it, the church is in the same city little snoop y'all niggas know little snoop r.i.p my nigga snoop man trey one eight legend snoop from jones bro that's where the church is so we go to jones bro whatnot pull up we in church you know it's church so it's church vibes you know fully focused man and, and to be honest dog i was i didn't even get fresh for church i want mama like you know the saying come as you are i really like hopped up like who first hit i see foul gene foul jay's foul all right cool we out man, 
man, they had me on a website looking bummy. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, y'all put me on the main page. Y'all put, why y'all? Anyway, I'm in there, folks. You know, listen to what the man's saying or whatnot. And you know how you feel a presence behind you, commotion behind you, but ain't nobody saying nothing? Like, that's what I was feeling. But since it's church, I never turned around and looked. This is after the Super Bowl. This is weeks after the fucking Super Bowl or whatnot. All of a sudden, buku people walk past me. Like, after about the fifth person walk past me, I look. And when I look, I see a big Dumbass security guard looking nigga, and I see Snee, and they walking in, walk to the front. I'm like, damn, this nigga came to church today. <laughs> this nigga came, this nigga came to church today. We sitting in church, church is church, you know, church is church vibe. We just, it's just church. Church going on, Snee get up, walk to the other side of the church, him and the security guard, a couple of the security guard walk to the other side of the church, uh, and they sit on the front row. Now, his mama is a member of the church, like, she go to the church, like, the church really support this nigga Snee, and this is, and I want to say this, bro. Take if you don't take nothing else from this video, I want y'all to take this shit, bro. Support and respect goes a long fucking way. It take a lot of humility for a person to publicly thank somebody for something that they did, bro. Cause one, you gotta admit in thanking you, you admitting you was at a point to be healed. Especially if the thank you was for something that they did, it take a whole lot of humility. And people that don't do that shit, the opposite of humility is pride. You hear me? Like, so, when if you ever feel like, damn, nigga, this nigga, nigga, it be all love, you know, when it when it's right here, but then we get around such and such, such and such, no motherfucker act like him. It's pride, dog. It is pride. And niggas don't be wanting to admit, you know, that they was in a state and you was a, a key factor in getting them out of their state because everybody want to be on this solo dolo. I did this shit by myself, blah, 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 blah. And in reality, we need people. A connection is what builds and makes shit better. Yeah, you can build shit by yourself. Space that I'm operating in, in in this field right here, just say, I use this for example. A YouTube, you might help a YouTuber, tell a YouTuber, hey, you got to do this, blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, they doing that shit and they doing it at a consistent rate and then they send growth and growth and growth. Next thing you know, boom, they one of the biggest major thing ever. Then behind club, hey bro, I thank you for that, thank you for that, thank you for that. But in public, you never see a correlation between the the help that you gave and what they got back in return. You you ain't gonna ever see that. And that come for pride and people just a lack of humility. Hey, if I ever do something for you, anybody. I don't, ain't no, I don't do shit for thank yous. I don't want no thank you because I overanalyze everything. And if I, I recognize false humility ASAP. And the minute I start feeling like you a prideful individual, like, you get the fuck from around me. I don't need that. We in church, you know what I'm saying? The pastor, uh, now he talking about Sneed at the point. And he just, you know, saying, and he's speaking on like the type of person that Sneed is. Cool. And he make a joke, you know, that he don't, you know, he just won a Super Bowl. Obviously, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, and they went back to back. You know, they're going on for the three P. Cool. Yeah. He make a joke. Yeah, I know the first one went, the second one mine. Now, he's he joking about the Super Bowl ring. When the man say this, Sneed Mama got up and gave the man the ring. So the man is like, no, 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 you can't. No, nah, you too many people watch. You know, it's a joke. Blah, 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 blah. After that, I'm sitting there like, what the hell? She give the ring to the pastor like Armour Bear. If you if you familiar with church, Armour Bear is like the pastor right-hand man. Like, the, the, you know, that give him the towel, the water, the holy, blah, blah, blah. That person. Like, she give the ring to him on some like, no, it is for him. And in that moment, bro, I realized like, damn. One, this nigga Sneed, his humility level is like here, my nigga, because he just gave this man something that he worked his whole entire life for. And he decided that, hey, I got two, I got the ultimate goal of my career path field, right? In my in this field that I pursue, I've dedicated my life to. I got two trophies. And dumb two trophies, what I earned, you deserve half of what I got. And that right there was just short. That was his thank you for everything, you know, that he had did in his upbringing. That humility, like, at this point in life, where Sneed at, compared to where the preacher at, you know, to the public eye, you would say Sneed is on a far another level. Financially, notoriety, um, celebrity, all, and all the shit that most of y'all motherfuckers care about. He on that level. Pastor just a, hey, he just a, he just a preacher in Jonesboro, you feel me? Sneed come back, get his man his Super Bowl ring, dog. And I'm like, damn, that's what this shit about, bruh. 
When you influence, and, and I'm going to leave y'all with this, bro. You, I'm going to leave y'all with this, bro. Don't be a prideful person. If somebody help you, don't ever be too prideful to say thank you for what you did. You know what I'm saying? Because the tables turn. The same way the table turned where you went from a person that was asking for help or needing help or seeking uh, guidance in the area uh, to get to another level. And then you get to that level and far, but, far beyond that point. Don't ever forget the people that help you realize, hey, this is what I need to do to get me there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it take a whole lot of um, humility to be able to admit that shit publicly. And you ain't got to go in the depth what a motherfucker said. It's just be like, hey, bro, thank you. But, you know, even it, too much pride in it, niggas won't do it. But, yeah, shout out to Sneed. Sneed just come up off his uh, last year in his contract. Kansas City, pay that man. Pay that nigga. Need, he need to be top five top at least top eight paid highest paid cornerbacks in the nfl period if they don't pay them somebody else pay that nigga sneed don't be loyal to that shit get your motherfucking back you got two ring pastor got a ring now if you get another you give to your kids because and that's the thing nigga everybody that was with sneed like body wise physique vis I can't sound like a stupid ass nigga but i ain't that physique wise i probably still fucked it up them niggas is NFL athlete body frame built. You feel me? And they like, they kids. They kids. Nigga, that, this man Sneed is just the first of uh, some shit that's like, that's for the terrorize the NFL for years to come. Oh, my mom. Pay that man, you know? Pay the big big homie for opening up them doors and showing, you know, this what he, he deserve all that. Go get your bag. Whatever team gonna give you that Sneed, go get that. Um, for y'all that's watching any content creator on YouTube, well, check this out. I'm going to leave y'all there. You ain't got to make niggas your OG or none of that shit, bro. But a thank you, you never know what the fuck that thank you do. Content creating and, and, and social media influence is two different things. If you're an influencer, you 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 help people get to your level and far beyond your level. That is one thing in itself, in its own entity. Content creating is a far separate other thing. That is what, you, what I'm doing right now. That's what this video is. I'm... Per se, I'm not on the content creating side. That's why I come and go all the time. I'm more on the influencer side. I got a track record of niggas I done help get to the next fucking level. Level, cause they listen, bro. They took, they learned from my L's and turned them bitches into millions. On God, literally. That don't correlate to me sitting up having millions. You know, influence don't always pay directly in ways that you think it's gonna pay. But a thank you, that's worth it all on my mama. So yeah. Uh, Big grind hard checking up at this bitch. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you new. I got a, uh, I'm sending my grandpa a truck right now. This was the truck he bought a few months before he died. No, I take that back. He bought this truck a couple of weeks before he was in the state to where he couldn't drive. He wasn't even supposed to buy the truck. Drove the truck to the store, wrecked it. I got a vlog series coming where I'm literally restoring this whole entire truck from top to bottom. And, uh, I'm gonna take y'all on the whole path. Subscribe to that. Stay tuned for that. And yeah, that man grind hard checking up at this bitch. I, my hand up, I'm gonna smack the the lens are like in the video, God.